Hello dear friends, assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Friends, we are discussing about the urinary system, right? And uh, the previous lecture was about the relations of the urinary bladder. Now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the blood supply of the urinary bladder. So let it write here the blood supply, blood supply of urinary bladder okay friends so from blood supply we means the arterial supply which arteries are responsible to supply blood to the urinary bladder first of all i should draw the diagram very clearly for you guys then we will see <coughs> the blood supply and everything those arteries which are responsible to supply blood to the urinary bladder so let me make here a diagram first of all from that diagram we will clear every doubt uh, and uh, we will understand the blood supply very clearly right so here is a person standing right and this is his lower body parts i hope you will understand everything right like this and this is uh, his uh, diaphragm right so above that there is thoracic cavity and below that there is abdominal cavity now you know here is our uh, what we have the iliac bones the pubic bone we have right so let me make that also like this like this so these are the two pubic bones i hope you are understanding and this is the pelvic uh, uh, cavity right here is the pelvic cavity okay so here is located our urinary bladder so let me make the urinary bladder also here this is for example the urinary <coughs> bladder okay this is our urinary bladder now let me color everything this is ub urinary bladder now look carefully my dear friends you know there is the abdominal aorta right abdominal aorta now you know that abdominal aorta bifurcates into right common iliac artery and left common iliac artery so these are common iliac arteries now common iliac arteries you know will bifurcates into an external iliac artery external iliac artery and an internal iliac artery you know that very well the external iliac artery and the internal iliac artery right so these are the branches so we will write their names don't worry we will write their names the the abdominal aorta the common iliac arteries and the uh, common iliac arteries bifurcate into external iliac artery and internal iliac artery right so then what happens the internal iliac artery this one the internal iliac artery gives of two divisions the interior division and the posterior division right it gives of how many branches two branches anterior division and posterior division right if you look from lateral view how will it look it will look like this so this is abdominal aorta right there common iliac artery you just take one of them either right or left common iliac artery then external iliac artery then internal iliac artery and then internal iliac artery gives off one posterior division one anterior division right so there is one posterior division one interior division so that from that anterior division all the blood supply to the urinary bladder occurs right so let us name all of them what is this this is abdominal aorta right and what is this right common iliac artery sorry this is it was left side so this is left common iliac artery and this is right common iliac artery right and uh, then what is this this is external iliac artery right we i have already uh, discussed all these branches in the circulatory uh, system chapter right and uh, this one is internal internal iliac artery right and here is the posterior division posterior 
division of posterior division of what posterior division of internal iliac artery and here is the anterior division what the anterior division right of internal iliac artery and same case is here so now from anterior division there are some arteries which bifurcate and supply blood to the urinary bladder so what are those arteries the first group of arteries which supply blood to the urinary bladder are called the superior vesical arteries so same will be the case from this side also the superior vesical arteries so i will write their name then there is another branch which is called the inferior vesical artery so please my friends i will discuss the differences in the blood supply of the urinary bladder of male and female don't worry so there is another branch which is called the inferior vesical artery and same will be the case from this side also inferior vesical artery then these are the two branches which are mainly supplying blood to the urinary bladder these are the two arteries the superior vesical artery and the inferior vesical artery in case of males which are responsible to supply blood to the urinary bladder fully but there are some other arteries also which help them in supplying blood to the urinary bladder what are those arteries there are the obturator artery right obturator artery some branches come from obturator artery also so we will write their names obturator artery and there is another artery which is also giving branches i am not saying that that artery wholly solely comes to the urinary bladder but it gives branch and that is called the inferior gluteal artery for example this is inferior gluteal artery so from inferior gluteal artery also there is a an artery coming towards the urinary bladder a branch come and supplies blood to the urinary bladder so how many arteries wholly solely supply blood two are the main arteries and there are two additional arteries additional blood supply that we say so what is this artery this is superior right superior vesical artery right it supplies blood to the urinary bladder then there is an inferior inferior vesical artery it supplies blood right then there is a what is this branch this is called inferior gluteal artery inferior gluteal artery it gives blood to the urinary bladder right it gives branches to the urinary bladder and then there is a branch from obturator artery also a branch from um, i will write it here branch from obturator artery obturator artery it also gives blood supply to the urinary bladder so a branch from obturator artery a branch from inferior gluteal artery i'm not saying whole inferior gluteal artery but a branch from inferior gluteal artery also comes towards urinary bladder so the main blood supply to the urinary bladder in case of males is inferior and superior vesical arteries but there are some additional arteries also which we call inferior gluteal and a branch from the obturator artery also comes right this is for males now in case of females there is a little bit difference in case of females what is the difference the difference is very very easy that in females there is no inferior vesical artery i will write here no inferior vesical artery right so what is instead in, fe in female there is no inferior vesical artery but there is superior vesical artery right superior vesical artery okay it is present but no inferior vesical artery and with that what is there there is uterine arteries instead of inferior vesical artery there is uterine arteries those arteries which supply blood to the uterus they give branches to the urinary bladder in case of female 
right and then there is vaginal arteries and vaginal arteries are responsible to supply blood to vagina so some branches from vaginal arteries also come and supply blood to the urine, uh, urinary bladder in case of females right so these two arteries are not present in male right so i will write here branches not all the uterine arteries not all the vaginal arteries come towards urinary bladder but a branch for example this is uh, you just consider that this is a vaginal artery right so a branch from it comes towards the urinary bladder right and if uh, there is the uterine artery right for example this is a uterine artery so a branch from which comes towards the urinary bladder right so and with that they, uh, they get supply blood uh, to from the inferior gluteal and branch of obturator artery also so branch of branch of inferior gluteal artery and branch of obturator artery obturator artery right so the difference in case of male and female is that in male there is no inferior in, in female there is no inferior vesicle artery instant uh, this there are uterine and vaginal arteries but superior vesicle artery is present uterine arteries vaginal artery branches right and the branches of inferior gluteal and obturator artery supplies blood to the urinary bladder so if you want to know it from the above, there is abdominal aorta from abdominal aorta. There is left common iliac artery and right common iliac artery. There is external iliac artery and internal iliac artery. Then from internal iliac artery, there is an anterior division and a posterior division. So from the of if you want to say generally the urinary bladder is supplied by what? The urinary bladder is supplied by the interior division of the internal iliac artery right and from that the branches the superior vesicle inferior vesicle inferior gluteal and branch of obturator artery so they are responsible to supply blood to the urinary bladder now you can take image of it for your notes next lecture will be about the venous drainage of the urinary bladder so see you guys there till then allah Hafiz.